Perfect summer is a little bit of work, uh, a nice trip. It's always good to get away with the family uh, and travel. That's a good summer. I've been to Brazil, uh, Sao Paulo, so that was fun. I have not been to Rio. I would like to. And with the Olympics coming up, I think it'd be a great opportunity to go. I love the World Cup. Yes, I'm a huge soccer fan. We play soccer at the house all the time. Um, and uh, it's a great sport. And I remember the first time I, I saw uh, Real Madrid, actually, I saw a game there at the stadium, and, and it was an incredible experience for me because of the crowd. And I think sometimes you don't quite understand what the experience is like unless you go to a game and see it in person. I think it's really growing here in the States. More and more people are playing it. And um, when I grew up, all we had was soccer or football. They, you know, American football is different. But um, yeah, soccer has a big following here, certainly. I like St. Bart's. <laughs> uh, Europe, you know, it would be good to go uh, to Dubai. I have not been, and I'd like to go there at some point. Maybe with this. It'd be good to go over and race over in there. <laughs> no, I love talking about racing. Yeah? Yes. I love it. It's a great sport. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a good escape for me. It's, it's challenging mentally and physically. And uh, it's a good community of people that I like being around. Oh, I think both are very important, yeah. Um, I really, I enjoy work, I enjoy acting, and uh, I really love racing, so it's nice to have a, a little bit of both. And you need that to balance out, I think. Uh, I like cycling as a good way to relax and to stay in shape. Uh, I like the sense of travel. You get to go and see things, and there's a good sense of recovery when you're riding, too. Uh, and sometimes when you're in a group ride, um, you can get a lot of good conversation done. <laughs> and you're getting exercise at the same time. I, I think Shonda really wants to keep it on for a 15 season. She's after that mark, so we'll see, you know. It's been a remarkable ride. I'm really grateful for the opportunity. And um, you just sort of take it one day at a time and, and get through it and, and enjoy it. I enjoy having a job. I'm very happy to have a job. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty easy and no, I'm not fed up at all. I don't know, you should ask my wife that question. <laughs> you know, you, you, I'm learning as I go along. I hope I'm a good father. I'll know in time, I guess, on how it all kind of... You have to give a certain amount of discipline, certainly, and at the same time, a lot of love and nurturing as well, so there's a fine line between that. Um, children need structure, they need some discipline, and they need to understand what authority is and, and uh, without crushing their spirits in the process. I try to keep them distanced fr from it, quite honestly, and um, sometimes when you go out it's a little difficult um, for them, uh, but uh, I've kept them sheltered from it for the most part. It's a very tough profession. Uh, there's a lot of rejection, and uh, it, it's hard to be in control of your own destiny sometimes. So, what I would recommend is definitely go to college, work on your writing, um, because you can then create your own material, uh, and certainly take um, some time to understand film so that you can direct yourself as well, and read and travel uh, and experience life because that gives you a point of view that then you can put into your work. Uh, I think it's a, a very difficult profession for uh, children to be in. I, I wouldn't recommend it. So, you know, uh, it's a very tricky thing, I think, uh, children in this business.
Um, probably do some more documentaries. We did one last year for Velocity. It's a four-part series on uh, my road to Le Mans. Um, I'm going to start another one on a couple race car drivers uh, from the past that I would like to do. So more of that, a couple things that we have in development, and, and we'll see. You know, currently still working on the, on the show. Oh, I, I don't think it ever stops, really. It, you know, what's the next job? What's the next piece of material that is inspiring to you and, and, and speaks to you? And, and trying to find that's always challenging. I think in the future I would like to produce more. I like to create an environment and bring people together and, and, and work in a collaborative way. Uh, I think that's, I, I see it going in that direction, certainly. Um, I don't know, you know, it, it, with so much social media and so much coverage, I think people know pretty much everything, for the most part. I like work. Uh, I, 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 it's nice having visibility and, and I guess being famous and, and all that, but I, I like to stay at home and, and be with my family and, and not travel as much sometimes. And I travel a lot because of work and because of the racing, so when I'm not out doing that, I, I just would rather be out of the limelight completely and just stay and be on the farm and do that. Yeah, I, I'm uh, careful with how I present myself, certainly. Uh, I want it to be comfortable. I want it to be well-made. I want it to be sort of classic and timeless. Um, but at the same time, you want a little bit of an edge sometimes. And then, you, can, you know, it depends on where you're at. Um, but I think the craftsmanship is really important. And the attention to detail. Those are things that I, I pay attention to. I think it has a, an impact worldwide, uh, you, you know, you're seeing it all over the world and, and certainly in the feature film world it's much harder to get the money to finance a, a film. Um, so it, it has its reach everywhere, certainly. I think everybody has, a, it's a, the, the business has changed dramatically because of all of the, the new media and the technology. So how people are viewing it and where they're, how they're watching it has changed tremendously. And now it's sort of the wild, wild west when it, you know, once that gets figured out, it will, it will be quite powerful. But the good thing is there's, everybody can be creative uh, and, 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 you know, tell their story. And I think that's what the great thing about technology is all about, you know. So no matter where you are in the world, you have a device that allows you to create something. And I think that's what's really exciting about the future, is w where these artists will come from. And they're coming from all over the world, and from all walks of life. Uh, and, and before uh, all this came about, it was very difficult. So I think it's a good thing. I got a really young, I for, like a, a proper tailored suit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember we I had a mail order like Sears and Roebuck uh, like polyester suit from the 70s that was my first what I thought was a proper suit <laughs> that was like seven I think I think you just gravitate towards things you like you know um, everybody has their own distinct style and I think you just got to listen to yourself and what you like Only when I look back and I see it's some of the stuff I wore early on in my life. <laughs> That's why I think it's important to have a timeless look. You get caught up in too trendy a look and sometimes you look back and you have to laugh at yourself. It's been a remarkable journey. It's been 10 years, so I've learned a lot. And um, it, it's interesting being in a, a show for that long. Uh, you go through, it's a... It's, it's longer than some relationships, so you learn a lot about yourself, what you need to work on, uh, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and, and you know that in your, in your co-stars and your, your fellow uh, workers. So 
it, it, you do ultimately become a family, uh, and, uh, and, and that's quite remarkable. I don't know, Joni, my manager's here. What's my next offer coming in? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Uh, well, it's funny sometimes, you, you, you know, the, Shepard has a very big following and people have a great projection onto who he is and, uh, you know, you try to be respectful and uh, take the time to say hello to everybody, but you didn't take it too seriously. Next step in my career, I th well, I think just continuing on and creating your own material and, and producing, I think, is, the, is that. Yeah, I think everybody has a, a really hard time balancing everything because you try to you want to do everything. So it, it takes work, and um, some days you're heavy on one side, and you need to balance it on the other side. So it's a constant uh, balancing act of, of trying to give enough attention to everything that you're doing, and your family, and your children, and your wife, and yourself, and your career, and, and your passions. So it, I think that that is the real challenge. <laughs> One thing, uh, I don't know, you can't go back, so you just got to keep moving forward. I think that sometimes you just got to keep looking ahead and not look back. I like both. But you can definitely have both. Well, I have both. <laughs> I don't have to choose, which is good. Oh, that's a great question. Who would I be? Fellini. I think it would be fun to go back and be in that time. Never. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's always funny, you know. People were like, wait, did I go to school with you? I think I went to school with you. I'm like, no, I don't think you did. I think most of the time people are really nice and it's like you live in a small town and everybody knows you. Um, and I'm very fortunate because of the character that people are usually very warm and outgoing towards me and, 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 uh, and that's nice, you know. Uh, and then sometimes if you're in a bad mood you don't want to be dealing with people, you, you know. That's always a bit tricky. You're with your family and someone, you know, sort of disrespects the boundary a little bit. That's always challenging. Um, but when you're someone who is well known and you choose to go out, that's part of your responsibility of dealing with that uh, and being respectful of that. Or just stay at home. Home. I don't know if I have one. That's a good question. I'll have to think about that. Great expectations. <laughs>